Welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. I'm taking you guys along with me today to take a look at this property in La Jolla, which is a 1950s home. Uh, it's been renovated here and there a little bit. It was previously on the market, went into escrow, fell out of escrow, and now my clients are uh, are interested in possibly making an offer on it. Sure. They are open to offering credit. Usually when they're open to offering $22,000 worth of credit, it's probably because it needs like 40. Uh, yeah, that's the, I mean, I know that's what I was gonna say that you and I are the same thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just take a look and see what you think. All right, guys, we made it. We're here at 7661 Hillside Drive in La Jolla. This is the property I wanted to show you. I want to show you what $2.5 million gets you in La Jolla. Not just La Jolla though, this is country club neighborhood. We are five, actually less than five minutes away from La Jolla uh, uh, Village. We are less than two minutes away from La Jolla Country Club golf course. We have Mount Soledad, we have Merlins, we have some of the most exclusive neighborhoods, not just in San Diego or California, in the entire nation. We are in La Jolla and this definitely feels, has that feel of Beverly Hills, that exclusivity. And I'll tell you why this house specifically, I wanted to show it to you because in the neighborhood that we're currently in, this is 1300 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, listed for 2.5 million. Now you might say, hey, that's a lot, that's a little. The home surrounding this property are 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 12,000 square feet and they sell for around 10, 12, 14. There's one that sold a month ago for $15.5 million. Massive property. So you can live in one of the best neighborhoods in La Jolla for, I mean, one tenth of that here at 7661 Hillside Drive. Enough of that, let me show it to you. So coming in, this house was built in 1955. So it is a Pretty old house, um, but it's been very well kept. The owners are selling because they, uh, they got passed down and, and so they decided to sell. It was recently rented, but right now it, it's vacant. This is a stage home. You walk in and you can't miss that stellar view. You have a bay window here, super wide, super big. You can't miss the view. I mean, we're out here in La Jolla. What better view than the ocean? And you're walking distance to La Jolla Village as well. So this is, as soon as you walk in, you walk straight into the family room, TV room. And then here on your left, I'm gonna show you guys the master bedroom, right to it, right to the uh, to the main course here. This is a master bedroom now for 1950s property. This is a pretty well, you know, sized bedroom. Um, you typically don't see rooms this big in a 1955 house. The bathroom has been completely redone, beautiful finishes. And again, this house is currently on the market, probably won't be by the time you guys see this video, but don't worry, I can always send you more properties just like this one. This is a great closet, again, for the 1950s property. You, you, I mean, you, you've, you guys have probably seen homes in the 1950s. They had probably half of this closet, more than likely at some point in time, they expanded this closet, they broke down the, uh, the wall and made it bigger. So as soon as you walk in, I didn't, you went straight into the family slash living room, but here on the left-hand side, you have your, I want, I'll call it a single car garage, just because it doesn't have a ton of space, but you do have a garage. Um, if you're familiar out here with, in La Jolla, you could do, you could ride a golf cart in, in the village. So you could fit maybe one or two golf carts in here, more like a storage room, but you do have that driveway out front that you saw when we uh, when we came in. Uh, you also have your washer and dryer in here as well. Let's head on over here to the right hand side of the house. So walking in again, main entrance, you have your master, you have your, your garage, and then you have another bedroom over here. Really good sized bedroom. This is what I'm telling you guys. Like you typically don't see this in a 1950s house. And you see that these are original floors as well, super well kept. Um, don't need anything. Like I would just leave it as is if it's something that you're looking to uh, to purchase out here in La Jolla. Closets have been redone really, really nice as well. 
And I could see this being, you know, an office space, a guest bedroom. Um, and you do have a full bath as well that's been completely redone. And you have a closet, another smaller closet inside the bathroom. But you can't beat it. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the space that you have here is really, really nice. Let's head on over here to the, uh, to the kitchen. If you're a cook, you're going to love this because why wouldn't you want to cook with this view? I mean, come on. This is a little uh, breakfast nook. Again, just imagine sitting out here having a, a cup of coffee in the morning with that view. And today's a clear day in La Jolla. I thought it was going to be eh, a little uh, on the overcast side, just because even though it's San Diego and it's always 75 and sunny, it's been kind of raining lately. So uh, you do have a, a, a kitchen on the smaller end, but still enough space for either a small family or if you live by yourself or if it's just you and your, your husband, your wife. Um, it's a good sized kitchen. And again, this has all been updated as well. So what's great about this property is yes, you're on a hill, you have a view, you have a car, a two car garage, you have two bedrooms, <clears throat> but then I want to show you what one of my favorite things about this property is, which is the backyard. This house has so much potential. I'm going to show it to you. Again, you, you are on a hill, so you have stellar views all over. I told you, you have a, a, where the hell did I leave the key? Is it open? It's open. So I told you this is a three bedroom. You're like, man, well, but we only saw two bedrooms. Well, this is a third bedroom. Let me show it to you. This is your third bedroom. Yes, it is considered a bedroom because you do have a door, you have a closet as well. My guess is that this was originally a crawl space. And at some point in time, they said, why not dig into uh, the hill and make it a bigger house in a third bedroom, which this essentially is your bedroom. If you wanted to put a bathroom, really easy to do as well. But look at the size of this. Imagine all the things you could do here. I mean, you could put a movie theater if you wanted down here. You could do a, you know, if you like to paint, you can paint out here with this amazing view. You can have a, a game room down here if you have kids. Um, there's just so much potential that you could do. And I'm going to show you, apart from this room, which is one of my favorite parts of the house because you can convert also into an office. And as you know me, I love offices and YouTube studios. So this would definitely be my office slash YouTube. Behind that wall, there's more storage. Again, they, I want to say at some point in time, they carved into the hill and decided to expand the house. So this is a bedroom and that side, which I'll show you right now, is storage. But let's head on over here to the backyard. Look at this amazing backyard. Careful there with the steps. Don't want my uh, the camera person to fall down the steps. Check out this amazing backyard. I mean, it's so I could totally see someone just hanging out back here and enjoying, you know, a glass of wine at night or or having breakfast out here or a cup of coffee or just hanging out with friends i mean you do have turf which is low maintenance and you have the, the grounds here are just amazing the deck looks really really nice and more than anything you have privacy yes you do have neighbors and you're in a hill but they're not really looking out i mean you're just here and it's, it feels very private very uh secure and very serene in my opinion I wish I, I probably can't probably can't sense it through uh, YouTube, but it's so nice and peace walking. I can already see it having breakfast. I mean, you could put barbecue area. You can barbecue with your friends out here. You can uh, put a TV out here and watch a game. Enjoy your friends, your family, just hanging out. And what better place to be? out here than in La Jolla, in San Diego, in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in San Diego. All right guys, we're here. We're at the storage. We just walked all the way around the house. This is the other side of that third bedroom that I had mentioned to you. So here it is. This is the storage room I have told you about. Uh, in that third bedroom, this is the wall that leads to that third bedroom, but you can use this as either an office space, a storage, as an area where you can come and do projects, as a movie theater if you wanted to. 
a lot of potential. And this house, believe it or not, I told you, it's a little under 1,300 square feet. Definitely feels way bigger than that. And it has so much potential. Um, let's go out to the front. So we're back where it all began, 7661 Hillside Drive. Beautiful property out here. You can't beat it. 2.5 million in Hillside Drive in La Jolla, country club neighborhood. You have Soledad, you have Maryland's, you have the Hoya Village, all within five minutes of each other. So again, by the time you see this video, it's a great opportunity. So by the time you see this video, this house will probably go pending, but don't worry if you're interested in homes just like this one or more opportunities out here in La Jolla or in San Diego County in general, shoot me a DM. I'm more than happy to help you. Until next time, I'll see you guys.